Where did it come from 51? A crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. January 2024. New Year's Caravan is just about to leave. What does the shop have in store for us? Catalina Christmas Edition. You what? It's the Catalina Deluxe Edition, but with a different paint. Would you, would you buy this pack if you've already got the Catalina Deluxe? Just to get your hands on this paint? Craziness. I, I don't understand it. Well, I do understand what it is. I understand why people might buy it, because the Catalina is still popular and still expensive. The Days is, is not. But those are the two unique parts in the... Well, useful parts. There's a bit of decor. There's a tail fin, if you want that. Or the hologram. But what I don't get is there's a rule in Crossout. You can't buy the same pack more than once. And I don't understand that. You know, if you want to milk the whales, why don't you let them buy the same pack over and over and over again? If they want to. I, I see no flaw with that. But there seems to be some reason for the there must be some reason for the rule. Even if it was the founders of Crossout said, Oh, you can buy a pack once, not twice, not three times, only once, and that shall be the same forevermore. <laughs> Laying down the law. <laughs> or maybe there's some funky technical reason that no one understands, but if you buy more than one the pack, same pack more than once, the whole game breaks or something. Or maybe there is a good reason, but I can't think of one. And if there is a good reason, if there's no good reason, then why don't you let us buy the same pack over and over again? But if there is a good reason, why do we have the regular pack, the deluxe pack, the light pack, and now the Catalina pack? Uh, sorry, Christmas edition. All with the same critical pack-only parts, the Catalina and the Days. <laughs> So you can buy it for same pack, more or less, four times. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. But it's it's here, it's in the shop. I mean, the last Christmas edition, at least that had a decent paint on it. The, oh, was it Soul Eater? Something or other. Had the Dark Forest, which is nice and dark, moody blues, with, with a couple of ravens, or are they crows, or are they something else? Giving you the eye. Yeah, people will like that paint. People will buy that paint. <laughs> See? People will buy that paint. Well, this is just got this red, not very good paint, not very popular paint. <laughs> or is it cheap because lots of people buy the Catalina and lots of people didn't buy the Eater of Souls? That was it. The Eater of Souls Christmas edition. But anyway, uh, full list of stuff in the description. What else we got? We have, in chronological order, uh, we've got the Inventor Pack, which is the old Icarus 4 pack. We've now got the Creation, which is the regular Icarus 4 pack in the shop. But the Inventor has come back for a brief stay, and but no changes in what's in the pack. So if you want to know, Look in the list or look in a previous video where I detailed the Inventor Pack. We also have Pestilence Deluxe has returned. <laughs> Another old pack. And yeah, no changes there. Still got the Blight. Still got a cheap bit of salvage. For, uh, yeah, <laughs> cheap bit of salvage for some cheap resources and a funky brake light. Covered it before, so I won't cover it again. And then, oh, the Bone Hunter Deluxe is back after its initial stint of a month, been away for a month, and now it's back. So then what have we got in here? Nothing new. Nothing new. It's the Manitou Cabin and the Nagwell, but they're not terribly popular. What, how's that funky horn doing? Still expensive, because not many people are buying the Deluxe Pack. That's why. <laughs> Because yeah, they don't want those. That's the only thing they want. And who's going to buy a pack just to get a horn? Crazy people, that's who. Crazy rich people. And what have we got in customization? Uh, custom kits, custom kits. Ooh. Nah, not tradable. Worthless. Worthless, 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 worthless. 
Doomsday Cars Hologram. It's tradable, but it's certainly not new. And Tachyon Pack has New Dawn Paint, which is not new by a, a country mile. Keeper Deluxe returns to the shop with its Yong Wang. Uh, no different to the last time it returned to the shop. Adrenaline Deluxe Edition returns to the shop with its cockpit and its custom kit for blast off. No changes there either. And then Eatra Souls returns hot on the heels of Eatra Souls Christmas Edition. Here's the regular Deluxe Edition, just in case you thought soot paint with its colour chain shift was about to go up in price. In the customization we've got something tradable. That's not tradable, those are custom kits. Decorations founders, they're all tradable. But they're old, old pieces of decor from old, old seasons and in fact old, old decoration founders packs have been in the customization part of the shop before. So nothing new in this section. More packs return to the shop. ABS Hellboy, just in time for the Kerberos cabin to get a buff, well proposed buff, and the remedy to get a proposed nerf <laughs> announced by the devs, and then this pack comes out. Convenient. Nothing different in its parts, or paints, or stickers, or decor, or anything. Same as it was last time. Tango 1 Deluxe Pack returns to the shop and no changes there. How's the King Mine layer pricing doing? Going down. Is it time to buy back yet? Almost. And the Rascal Deluxe returns with nothing new. You buy it, totally buy it for all these red neon lights. Can't get them anywhere else. Apart from the market, of course. And the yokai. Oh, and, and the hubcap with a hologram that you can't get anywhere else at all because it's not tradable. Boo! More packs return to the shop. Catalina Deluxe, after an absence of, ooh, a couple of weeks, is back. Uh, this is the regular Deluxe pack, not the Christmas Deluxe pack, and it's just the same parts. Nothing much interesting there. Patron Deluxe. What have we got in here? Nothing different. And this was only in less than two months ago. I used to buy the neon lights because they would go go down when the pack deluxe pack would return and then go up when it disappeared. But now they come back so soon, so quickly, they don't go up enough to make it worthwhile doing. So I stopped buying them. And then, ooh, wind from the north. Now we haven't seen wind from the north for two years but it's a snowstorm pack it should only come out at snowstorm <laughs> which it did two years ago but now it's back again but again no different in the parts so if you want to see what the parts are look in the description below more returning packs shinobi pack which is an alternative way of buying the cockpit cabin returning from about four months ago no change in its tradable parts fresh blood a deluxe edition returning from about six months ago uh, how you get the uh, elephant cannon which is a t34 it looks like a 76 because he's got the muzzle brake but the barrel I'm sure that barrel was too short for a 76 and the early ones didn't have the um, muzzle brake. But anyway, that's by the by. Uh, nothing new, nothing changed in the pack. Well, possibly coin, <laughs> Pre days of premium, one of those stickers, but I don't care about them. And Electric Beetle Deluxe returning from, ooh, about a month ago. And with no changes, how to get the Atom. Movement based part, movement parts, and the Akari. Always important when you go off hunting Leviathans. Get a harpoon stuck in it and get a load of damage. Then in customization, we have Nomad Ciphers, which is returning. 
and no changes there. What's new in the shop this week? Bravo 6 Deluxe Edition returns again with 4,000 coins and three days of premium and the tank tracks, which is what you get the pack for, and the tank headlights. When these first came in, I thought, oh, those are going to be popular. But they got overtaken by the headlights that look almost exactly the same, only they open up the eye socket. Uh, so I lost out on that, I'm investing in tank headlights. But yeah, nothing new here, and it comes back every couple of months, so not worth really investing that much. On the other hand, Valentine's Day pack, ah, that's much better. It's one of the annual packs, comes in every Valentine's Day, more or less. And last year, the lollipop paint did rather well for me. I'd show you, but I can't get into my main account because I've been banned. How nice, and I've been investing again in these. But, how oh, um. Uh, but be warned, some of the annual packs have turned into biannual because, and they come back before you expect them. And, of course, the stuff goes down in price because they come back. So you might, if you do buy a lollipop paint or something, you might want to sell it in like five months' time, not 11 months' time, just to be on the safe side. Oh, and it's got... The jockey cabin. Uh, the jockey cabin does come in other places, like the Halloween packs, as do the the stallion wheel. So they're not so good. An aluminium, yeah, that's in other packs. But anyway, it hasn't changed from last year. I have the contents. So those are the packs in customization. Ooh, quicken the heart. None of which are tradable stickers. Boo, rubbish, give me a hug. Oh, look, not tradable. What's the point? And a uh, paint pack, which is tradable, but it isn't even a new pack, I think. But it's got the coral paint, the ocean paint, and the valentine paint. Which, <laughs> surprisingly enough, I just sold <laughs> last month. Because I think ahead. Well, that's it for this uh, Where Did It Come From video. I wonder what's going to be new next month.